Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made mushroom cake balls. Now let's play a game called Mushroom or Cake, where you guess if the image I show you is a real mushroom or a cake mushroom. But before we play, I'm going to show you how the realistic mushroom cakes are made. Here I'm shaping chunks of cake ball dough slightly smaller than the size of the actual mushrooms. I have tons of videos showing you how I make my cake ball dough, so there's links to those in the description. Next, I roll out a layer of white modeling chocolate, and I gather that chocolate skirt to create a stem. Then I just snip the chocolate off, and we're already halfway there. <laughs> These are already looking mushroom-esque. Before I sculpt the fine details, I'm covering all the cake balls the same way. I think these cake mushrooms look more realistic when they range in size. Variety is key, and it's more fun than making the exact same thing over and over again. <laughs> I always have cornstarch on hand, which is the white stuff here, and I use it to keep the chocolate from sticking to my table and my tools. Now I can sculpt the mushroom texture. So most of the texture is where the mushroom cap meets the stem. Lots of lines and ripped edges. A really fun technique to add some lines and striations in the chocolate is if you warm the chocolate with a flame and then you swipe up with a hard bristle brush. It looks like a difficult texture to capture, but it's really, really simple and fast. These mushrooms are regular old white mushrooms. And here in the US, they're definitely the most common mushroom. In fact, about 90% of all mushrooms that are consumed in the US per year are actually white mushrooms. And why not? You can pretty much put mushrooms on anything. How about you? Are you a mushroom fan? Or do you hate them? I know a lot of people are either pro-mushroom or anti-mushroom. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. To paint the shrooms, I'm using high-proof alcohol or extract to dilute the powder food color. I chose powder food color because I think it translates really well into that like dusty look of the mushrooms. I really like to take this spoon shaped tool and then I peel the chocolate back so that it looks like ripped layers, just like on the real mushrooms. This is very intricate, very small scale, and I really like the way it looks. So now I just layer up different tones and colors. Some are slightly yellow and some are more of a true gray. Around the base, I have some darker brown colors, which kind of resembles dirt. So don't forget, when you're using mushrooms, make sure you clean all that dirt off. I love how these little painted details bring the mushroom to life. Like, it's really weird. It seriously doesn't even look like I'm painting chocolate anymore. They look like real mushrooms. This is going to be great for playing mushroom or cake. <laughs> what do you think? Are you ready to play? Make sure you keep track of your score and let me know how you did in the comments. And remember, you only have a few seconds to guess whether the object you see is a mushroom or cake. So let's play. Mushroom or cake. Is this a mushroom or a cake? Is this a mushroom or cake? Mushroom or cake? Mushroom or cake? Mushroom or cake?
mushroom or cake? Mushroom or cake? Mushroom or cake? Mushroom or cake? Mushroom or cake? Let me know how you all did playing mushroom or cake. Did you get any wrong? If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for a new cake every week. And if you like playing mushroom or cake, let me know by liking this video.